Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with you guys for another video. You guys are not seeing double because today we have the newest Bratz Collector Edition. We have the Tweevil set, which is a, such an iconic character set from the Bratz TV show. And I'm super, super beyond pumped that they finally got dolls and the dolls are in my hands. I'm so beyond excited about this set. Um, we have K Christy and Casey and I did not obviously grow up with Bratz. They were kind of before my time, but growing up with Monster High and then coming back to, you know, collect Bratz and rewatching the shows and the episodes and stuff, I've definitely fallen in love with these little twins. They are super, super fun and they're super, super cute. And again, super happy to have this little novelty item of them. But um, before we kind of get into this review, I want to say that these dolls are marketed as limited edition dolls. So I'm not sure, again, how much their quantity is going to be of these, but they are said to be very limited. So if you guys are interested in these dolls, they are $50 on Amazon, which I got. That's how I got mine. And they're also available on the LOL Surprise, LOL Surprise website for inter international fans, which is um, really, really good. Um, but again, I'm not sure if these are that limited. So if you guys are really, really interested in them, I would definitely suggest picking them up sooner than later but with that out of the way i want to get into the box and into the into the dolls because we've been waiting years for these dolls i know like not me because like i knew her to brats but like we've been waiting uh, the collectors have been waiting a long time for these dolls to finally drop and i'm so beyond excited to get into them today they're so cool so already looking at this gorgelina box it's a really new kind of i think shape for the box or for the brats brand we have this box but it has like a snatched waist almost and it's very very hot pink it's very barbie and it's a really cool display so the first thing we have is this plastic little window. It has the Tweevils logo and the names of Christy and Casey, who are the twins here. The twins are also saying a little something. So I think this is Christy. She's saying whatever. And then Casey is saying my nose, which is so funny and cute. And they're kind of set in the Birdine Maxwell office for Your Thing magazine, which is a really, really cool little parody and stuff. I think it's fun. And the background is holographic, like the 20th anniversary Bratz dolls are. We have a sticky note that says there's a poster inside. There's a barcode for a free toy, and the Bratz logo is on the top. I'm just obsessed with how pink this is as a pink person myself. On the sides of the box, we have some really cool little, like, um, phrases that the twins say, like, yeah. Yeah. Get a new one. My cat died today. Get a new one. Whatever. Like and the back of the box has really, really gorgeous artwork of Christy and Casey. Um, and it's kind of in like the OG Bratz style, like the artwork style is like very early, early Bratz. And it's just so cool and so fun that we're finally getting like a 2D kind of picture of these dolls. They look amazing in this artwork. We also have this little blurb, um, just kind of, you know, talking about the Tweevils themselves. And it's a really, really just nice packaging. I love the back of the box. It's so much detail that put into like a lot of the quotes and everything. And the yeah, we also have a little fabric bow here, which is super super cute and super nice and the barcode again i don't think these are going to be sold in stores i think they are going to be an online exclusive so um again check out for that i will i guess have the amazon link in the description below because again that's where i bought mine from and without further ado i'm going to open these dolls super carefully because i have heard that people have been getting these boxes and saving them so, you know to put them back in so i'm going to open this box as carefully as i can and i'll be back with you guys to get the dolls out i'm so beyond pumped and out of the box, these dolls do not come with that much. I think the whole, like, gag with these dolls is that they're just, like, the novelty item and, like, it's, like, the big box and everything. But we do come with a couple fun things. We come with two of these combs. I only took one out because I'm lazy and it's, like, the same exact comb. But there are two of them, so... Um, it's like the iconic Bratz Star brush in this really hot pink color. It's super, super pretty, but if you already have some of the newer Bratz dolls, you probably have a million of these already. I know I do. We also came with this really fun poster, which is um, kind of hidden back in the box. And it's, wait, I, mean, I, I haven't even looked at it yet, but the first side, um, I know that it's two-sided, but like this side is like the one from like the back of the box. It's the same artwork and has a bunch of the quotes. It's very Mean Girls vibes, like from like the movie. <gasps> Oh, wow, look at that. And then the back of this is the dolls and the office, which is super gordelina. Wow, I'm obsessed with that. But now taking some time to look at the actual dolls themselves, I am so beyond pumped. I want to look at Casey first because Casey is my favorite, I think. I don't know why. I think she's just a little bit prettier. Um, but this doll has a really cool, very um, yellowy, blondy kind of hair. Um color i guess it's i think it's a nylon it's a very gel the two gel bits in the front she's a little um bow which is a fabric bow which is so cool and it's very gelled and this is just kind of how the hairstyle is done very very simple and very sleek she has little studs of hearts on her ears this face up is so beyond gorgeous this is the new face mold i think from 
uh, I think it's marked from this year, correct, 2022. So this is a completely new face mold from the Bratz dolls, which I can bring a Bratz over. This is just Flower Girls Chloe, for an example. Ignore her lip chip. You can kind of see the differences in how this is more mark more cartoony. I mean, Bratz is overall a very cartoony brand, but just, like, looking at the faces, it's very, very different. And the skin tone actually looks really similar. Um, they have, it's not as orange, to be honest. Like, in all the pictures from this doll, her skin tone is a lot more orange, but, like, it's very pale, which is, I think, a better sign. It's not, you know, the Chloe orange, which we've been seeing a lot of. And the face-up is Gorgelina. This doll is actually the one with the blank stare. So she, she's just kind of, like, gazing at you. The band-aid is kind of printed on, and I love the very simple eyeshadow. Um, and the makeup is pretty, it's, she's blushing. I love the lips. They look like overlined. Like, you can see how, like, a little bit over the mold, which I think is super funny, unless mine's wonky, I guess. She has her wearing a very, very simple dress, and they are both wearing the same exact one with the little buttons. And it's just like a hot pink mini dress with a little um, white on the bottom. We, we Again, we've seen this in a while. Um, and she is using a modified body. This is the body um, from the articulated one from like the 2018 doll body, but with the movie hands. Um, and the movie hands are actually... Um, not the same as the 2018 ones, and they don't fit into the body. I don't think they're really casted correctly, because, like, the peg is still showing on all the dolls and even in the promotional images, so very, very interesting. And just if you guys don't know, the one over here, this is Chloe from the 2018 doll lineup. This is, like, the more, um, usual Bratz hand, and this is the movie hand. I've always preferred the movie hand. Um, I think it looks cuter. It's more cartoony, but I think they use it, you know, because, like, these are supposed to be, like, the dumb ones that are supposed to be more, um, exciting, but I like the, um, new one, so I'm happy that they kind of used it again and brought it back, even if it is just for this doll lineup, but her body is not articulated in the torso like the movie dolls are, um, so she just kind of is the stiff, um, torso body, but just with, like, the movie hands, and she does have some little platform shoes, these are, like, the, I think Chloe's shoes from the 20th anniversary, not, like, that's, like, the mold I think they're using, but it's very simple, it's very hot pink, and there's, like, a little bit of open toe showing, it's, I love the color so much, though, it's super pretty, and we have the best brat stand, I love this stand so much, it's very simple, it's hollow, and it is using the 2022 MGA logo, they use this stand for, um, Mo Lola and Colt Gaia, I think, maybe, holiday, no, not holiday, Felicia, uh, I think that's what they use it for, but I love this stand so much, it's very simple. And now the only difference for Christy is that she is wearing a crown fabric little hat with little, um, pearls. Oh my, they're sewn into it, so they're not glued. Um, and it kind of gives arts and crafts a little bit, like, it doesn't, like, look the best, but, like, I don't mind it. There are some ties still in her head, and the hair done, hairstyle's done the exact same way. Same with this little, um, heart earrings, they're the same. But this doll is using a different facial expression, I think on the same mold, probably. I do apologize because I just realized these dolls have completely different face molds. Um, Casey has the smaller nose, and while Christy has the bigger nose because she got a nose job, so, um, I think it's very, very slight, but it's very, very intentional if you guys can kind of see it. I think it's a really, really fun and really, really cute little, like, nod into the dolls. Maybe I'm, like, wrong, and maybe they're the, the, they're the exact same nose, but, like, this one looks a little bit bigger, right, than this one? Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Um, but she is kind of smirking at you guys. She has a little bit of a lip smear on mine, but I don't really care that much. Um, and she is really, really cute. I kind of just preferred if we just did the OG, like, the, um, blank stare. But this is cute. Um, it's fun. It's very interactive. And she is wearing the same exact outfit with the same body and same shoes because they are, like, little evil, evil twins. I don't think this set was really meant to focus on the fashion dolls. Which, um, I kind of wish we got, like, purses or, like, um, a little second outfit for $50. Because, um, for $50, you can get two of the, um, second Re edition reproduction like the series two dolls which come with a lot more for around 25 dollars so at, at retail price i'm not fully seeing the 50 dollars i get it it's the really nice box it's the novelty item it's the collector's edition thing um but as like a person who's not like into like you know was never like growing up growing up with brats and doesn't get the nostalgic attachment to the tweevils i don't think it would definitely be worth the 50 dollars for me but as also a collector and, you know, someone who is starting to love the Bratz brand and starting to actually love these characters, I don't think we'll ever see these characters be made ever again. I don't think we'll see them with new outfits, but correct me if I'm wrong, if, you know, that happens in the next five years or whatever. Um, so I think if you guys really, really want these dolls, I think they're an amazing addition to anyone's collection. They're really, really fun in box. I definitely am keeping that box and putting it somewhere because I need that box. It's super pretty, and I honestly want to get a second set just to keep them in box, but I'll be good, and I won't, you know, buy two, but, um, 
yeah, I don't know. I kind of like these dolls. Again, they are very, very, very simple dolls, just wearing a very simple dress. But I also really love that I finally have, like, the, um, you know, the cartoon characters from the show in, like, real life. It's really, really fun. It's really, really cool. And I hope maybe we get more content with these dolls. Who knows? But, again, they're kind of fun, and they're more of a collector's item than, like, a playline item. If you guys really, really want Bratz dolls, I would probably suggest the Series 2 dolls if you guys want, like, more bang for your buck. But these are definitely fun in their own way. In the comments below, please tell me your guys' thoughts and opinions on Miss Kirsty and Casey from the new Bratz collection. I am so beyond excited to, again, have these dolls, and they're super, super fun, and they're really, really silly. And, yeah, I just want to know all your, your guys' thoughts, though, in the comments about, like, if you guys are buying these dolls, if you're skipping on them, if you're going to try to wait for a sale. Again, I'm not really sure the limited edition means for these, because the other dolls... Like, the Maulola dolls and, like, the, um, Colt Gaia dolls, they were marked as limited edition, but, like, they weren't, like, promoted in every Instagram post about being limited edition, so I am a little bit scared about these being, you know, available and stuff, so, again, check it out while you're hot, while it's hot, and, yeah, but, again, thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching today's video, it was so much fun with you guys, and I can't wait to catch all that with the next one, I love you all so very much, have a fantastic night, and see you later, bye, whatever. Ah, my nose!